hello there. What do we got here? First thing of today. These are the Red Sea Reef LED 90s. Oh my god. If you follow this hose all the way back, look, we're running, we're running, we're running. Oh yeah. Here we go, ready? Oh! That's good. That's good. Refuel meals. Family friend, and uh, he made this business where they send you meals weekly. You order it on like a Thursday, and all the meals, five or more is free shipping, and all the meals arrive that uh, following week. So you can have a meal every single day. I have like 20 in my fridge at all times. This is what I eat. Super easy. And it's all made by like a five star chef. Like, this is top notch stuff right here. I was missing out this entire time. Refuel meals. Links down below. What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. I got a couple things to tell you before we start today's video. What the? Ollie! He's always running around. Oh, yes. Look at that. Let's just say this, and everyone that's watched the series will agree. You're missing out, so go watch that. Part one, two, and three are out so far. Part four is when we're gonna finish it, and news, that's not gonna happen for another, like, I think it was like 10 days. It'll go quick, you know how fast 10 days goes. But apparently you can't actually paint the concrete until it's been sitting for at least 30 days. There's a couple other things to it, the reasoning behind why we can't paint it just yet. We want to do everything the right way, but we do have the paint, we have the epoxy, silicone, yada yada yada, we have it all. So when that day does come, we're ready to make the inside of this blue and start filling her up with water. And then we got to get our filtration, which we did order as well. Remember I told you guys we got this crazy, crazy filtration for this pond? Yeah, we, uh, we got that. Thanks to Predatory Fins, my boy Rodrigo, he's getting one as well. This filter does everything on its own. I'm talking, I don't touch it. I don't have to touch a single thing. It does water changes on its own. That's some crazy stuff. Anyway, I'm just excited for this right here. All the animals are screaming. You know the drill. If it's the morning and they haven't eaten yet, listen. Just give it a nice listen. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. It's uh, my girlfriend's cat. I saw a lot of comments seeing that in the background on one of my videos. She's the best, dopest cat I've ever seen. Bam! Tommy's here. It is time to do part two. I'm excited for this. A lot of you have been waiting. As you see, I haven't uploaded because I've been waiting kind of to just do these two series, that backyard pond and this one, other than posting little things between. What do we got here? First thing of today. So these are your lights. These are the Red Sea Reef LED 90s. These are, in my opinion, the best lights on the market right now. So listen here, guys. If you don't know who Tommy is, you haven't watched part one, we did the whole scaping of this beautiful saltwater aquarium. It looks absolutely amazing. This man is a legend. He's got a degree in marine biology. He knows about everything from head to toe about salt water and just marine in general. This man gives a lot of info and a lot of you loved him last video, so I'm excited to do part two. Tommy's got a lot of stuff going on. Sumps are outside. What are we doing today? What's the, what, what's the end goal by the end of today? Today, tank will be filled. Water will be flowing. Sand will be in here. We're gonna add ammonia chloride and get the cycle going. Okay, cool. Well, you heard it here, folks. Tommy is gonna get it done today. And I am excited. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We're gonna be sand and water and all that junk in here today. All right, so we attempted on pulling this tank out. Uh, like we tried to pull it out because as you can see, the other side is actually open because that's really the back side of the tank. It's confusing, the, the tank to get it, okay. Anyway, we had to actually pull this off right here. It was just stapled in to then get our sump into there. But guys, this is our sump. This is our sump. Nice ass shop sump. Look at that. Sweet, so that's going in right there. I'm hoping to God it fits. That would really not be good. But it's going in there. Then we'll put that piece back on, staple it in, and then the water pressure would, you know, it would be the same. Woo, all right, a little bit of a hiccup, but we're good. So we just brought this, uh, Protein what is skimmer. <laughs> Explain a little bit more about this for people like myself that have never seen a salt. So the protein skimmer is the bulk of your filtration on the system. It pulls precursor molecules to ammonia out of the water. So remember the nitrogen cycle? Yes. Fish the produce you, ammonia, yeah, yep. nitrite, nitrate. Yep. So before fish waste can even become ammonia, this is pulling it out. Uh-huh. So you can't use these in freshwater because there isn't enough surface tension. 
Gotcha. But in salt water, with all the salt there is, uh, the pump pulls in air as well as water. Air comes from the silencer, uh, and it fills this column with bubbles. And when you do that, the intermolecular forces become greater than, uh, well, they, they start pulling and pushing things that are hydrophobic and hydrophilic. What? Like fish waste. Yeah. And get it out of the water. Golly, man. You can run a school. <laughs> you can... How long did you study for? Uh, well, I've been doing fish tanks since I was 11. Uh, wow, man. Tell you what, I got the right guy on my hands. I'm learning a lot, and I hope you are too. So continue watching this video, because only more to come from Tommy here. <laughs> now, Tommy is working on stuff down under the tank. I'm going to try to get as best footage as I can, obviously, throughout that process. Once we start working up here on the sand and, you know, the water and wave maker placements and, you know, all the above up here, I can get better footage. For now, I'm just running the GoPro under there with a little light. It's probably getting some good stuff, but, uh... That's hot, huh? That is hot. <laughs> I can smell the wood. There's the new hole right there. We got our electric, as you saw, set up now. That's what we're gonna use. We are outside now. Everything under the tank is, well, not totally done, of course. You gotta do like PVC plumbing and stuff, correct? Yeah. But we are ready for sand, and that's the next step here. We're rinsing the sand out with salt water. Yes. And this is just full of salt water. Yes. That's enough to fill the tank. Yep, and wow. rinse the sand. And rinse the sand. So Tommy was texting me this morning when he was doing this. He's like, I'm filling up water. I'll be there in a little bit, and uh, that's what he was filling up right there. Oh, as you can see the gallons, 150. Is that what it is? Yep. And then there's a little bit more than 150. Yep. Oh, that's cool. All right, so we got our sand here. We got five bags of reef sand and one bag of bimini pink. Okay. And is there any specific reason that uh, you pick different ones? Yeah, so the, uh, the reef sand, they're all uniform, fairly uniform in size. Uh, and it's big enough that it's not gonna get kicked up by the flow. Got it. And it also makes it easier to clean than the smaller sand. Bimini Pink has a mix of grains that are smaller than this and also some that are bigger. Yeah. So it makes it look more natural when you put a bag of that in with a few of these. Okay. Cool. See? That's why I ask. Wow. Sand on deck. We are flowing. Check that out. So when you rinse sand, you want to just gently tumble. So pump water through, kind of control the flow. You just want to... And is there a specific purpose why you're rinsing? Yeah. Sam, because isn't this pre-rinsed? Uh, it is pre-rinsed, and it is, you know, quote unquote live. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people will tell you not to rinse the sand because they say that you're getting rid of all the bacteria. Mm -hmm. And it's true you are getting rid of some but you're definitely not getting rid of all of it. And remember, there's nowhere near enough bacteria in these bags to support a reef tank anyway. You're rinsing it because during transport, when they're shipping these, the grains abrade against themselves. And I mean, look at this. You can't see my hand. Yeah. Just a few inches. I get what you're saying. So if we put that in there, the tank would be cloudy from day one and we'd have to get this out eventually anyway. So let's just take it out now. Exactly. All right. Makes sense too. <laughs> so we're gonna repeat that process uh, about one, two, three, four, five, five more times. Six bags of sand are in five bags. five bags. Five. Let me have one more to go on top of that, right? Yeah. Okay. Not all six yet, but five. Got mm -hmm. it. So the the other sand you rinse hand by hand yep. instead of just dumping. Here we are, fellas. All that'll be spread out, and we have our sand in our aquarium. Let me give you an update on everything under here. You can see it's all wired up. So all the electric under there. We just need to do the plumbing. We have the overflow on order, so the plumbing will not be done today, but the plumbing is going to get done uh, ASAP. So, yes, uh, and then the lighting will get done when the plumbing's done, correct? Yes. Okay, because we have to order the hang things for the lights. But we do have the lights, and we have everything we need other than the overflow 
for the tank. He said he got uh, expedite shipping, but uh, clearly they, their expedite shipping wasn't expedited. Huh? No, it wasn't. Yeah, so that never showed up, but it's coming. So a couple other things to do that will be done in part three, but for now we're getting water in today. We're getting sand in today. And will we have something flowing? Yes. The water, the wave makers, right? Yep, the power heads will be flowing. The power heads will be flowing. And that's really, so as far as, uh, in terms of when we can put fish in. Yeah. All that really matters is the day that we get sand and water flowing in the tank. Okay, so that is today. Yes. The so technically we're complete today. Yes, we're okay. starting the cycle. That's awesome, man. I love how things just come together like that. And then we got the pond out back that's gonna be getting done soon too. Things are just rolling around here. And you said approximately like a month after we do something like this, obviously the cycle of this tank, we could start to get some fish. Yes. And then we'll just bring those fish in, like I mentioned in part one, from least to most aggressive. That way we don't have any, you know, <laughs> don't want any fights in there. Looks good. It does. The sand made a big difference. For real. I just can't wait till water's in there. Come on, come on, come on, they come out from all around the yard. Come on, through the gate, through the gate, come on. My landscaper does not lock the gate correctly and then all my pigs get out. Go, go, get it, get it, get it. Good, we got two more. Go, Lulu get, yeah, come on Baba. All right, got them all back in. If you follow this hose all the way back, look, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. Where does it lead to? Yeah, 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 yeah. So close. Oh, so close. I got another Okay. <laughs> Kaferos, the next step is water. Is that incredible or what? Sand to then water? We are legends. Look at that. That's the way to do it. Yes, it is. Tommy's got the GoPro. Uh, I'm not sure what he's filming right now. That's what he's filming right now, so. Uh, <laughs> this is what's gonna have the water pumping out of it. I'm excited. Any moment now. Any moment now. Plugged in. Oh yeah. Here we go, ready? Oh! Lord! Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's pumping. <laughs> wow! That is crazy. You did that so it's not stirring up the yeah. right? Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Thanks, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Water's going, boys and girls. Water is flowing. Tucks it away right in a little cave. And now it just drips down and doesn't... Oh my gosh, the water's actually fairly clear. Right, look how clear that is. Instead of being all foggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah! How many times have I done that this video? Look at this, fellas. Water is going in. This has been a long time of waiting. Like, it, like I don't know if you've been watching the channel, but... This is like four months, solid, of just waiting for someone to get this done. It was I know. I should have just called you five months ago. I really should have. We'd have fish in this thing by now. But hey, everything happens for a reason, and it is just looking absolutely fantastic. Look at that. I guess, roll the time lapse. <laughs> That's the way to do it, huh? Make the sand all flat, and look how clear the water is. It's really clear. That is incredible looking. It looks so natural. And once the sand's like off these rocks and it's just rock, let me tell you, we are filling up. Paul, are there any fish that you're thinking about right now that you gotta have in this tank? Well, we spoke last time about the wrasse. Mm -hmm. I love any kind of wrasse. I love them. I'm definitely gonna let the Caferos comment right now some fish, so maybe you can go through these comments okay. when, when you have some free time. Comment a cool reef, community, fish tank, aquarium, saltwater thing. Comment a fish species down below. What do you want the most? Uh, you know, I've been thinking a lot about a group of assessors in this tank, some ORA aquaculture assessors. I need to look those up, because I don't even know saltwater fish. Okay. I'll pop a picture up right here. That's what he wants the most. Um, so we're definitely going to get some of those. We want, we want love, some of everyone's fish. They're going to love the little, our favorite rock. Yeah, right here. He said they're going to love. So I want some sort of wrasse. He wants an assessor. And then I'm going to let the pharaohs also comment down below. So you watching right now, drop a comment down below on a fish species you want to see. 
that is uh, reef friendly, obviously. Nothing like an eel that's gonna eat everything or something like that. Also, while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, subscribe. You don't wanna miss out on all these videos to come, I promise you that. This looks so good, like so good. I gotta check from the front. Although there's a glare right now, once the lights are on and it's maybe like nighttime in the house, it's gonna look crazy. It's a mini reef. It's literally a mini version of what's out in the wild. Well, there's not much left of it these days, but mini reef tank. Tommy. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> he just said, oh no. I uh I didn't hit 30,000 likes. Oh good. Yeah. You're doing it anyway. That's what does it taste like? I've always wondered. Actually I'm lying. I, I've gotten it in my mouth before. It's not great. No, it's not. It really tastes like concrete. It tastes like concrete. that's something I haven't tried. Oh, it's all up in my teeth. Hit the like button. Part one, I said, oh, I gotta go rinse my mouth out. I said I'll eat this for 30,000 likes. Like this video. If you just look closely, the amount of holes and places for these fish, look at that. It's got like a, a stem going in the ground, but you can go like around it. And there's just all these different caves and holes and with that foggy, with the sunlight behind it, you can really see this is a perfect shot. Tommy, come check out this camera right here. Oh, nice. See that? You can yeah. see with the fog. Yeah, out of your way. Every single hole in the tank. I mean, there's right here. Just take a good look at how many different little like look at that hole. All these different spots, and don't think the fish aren't gonna dig their way under all this too. They're gonna make their own. You know. Oh, I can't wait to get little fish. I haven't swimming around. Ugh, ugh, don't try that at home, at all. Tank is almost filled up. Almost, and I think lighting is just gonna, whew. Every step we take makes this tank look better and better and better. The, you know what I'm saying? That scape you did, Tommy, is crazy. Oh. Looks absolutely amazing. Holy moly, man. You ready? Yeah. Power heads are going on. Oh, they're going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy moly. That's crazy. Take a look at that. Let me go to the other side real quick while you're holding them like that. Oh my gosh, dude. The camera does not do justice. Wait, let me see if I turn this off. That is sick. That is so cool. Wow, 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 wow. Oh yeah, that shimmer shows up. So you put the power head up and then it creates that shimmer with the light. Wow. Look from in here, man. There's just an insane amount. Even on your ceiling. Yeah. It's up there. This is gonna be a nice room to edit in. Uh, this uses a dense array LED chip. Yeah. So all the LEDs are in that one puck. When you have point source light, like the sun, you'll get shimmer as the light defracts or refracts? As it moves around the water. Mm -hmm. um, so with like T5 lighting or the black box LEDs, uh, even the AI lights, you don't get as much shimmer as you do with these. Because it's point source too, you don't get any of the disco balling, so it looks really good on the camera. Yeah, it looked amazing from out here. Ah, oh, I'm blown away. I am blown away. If you like that, drop a like. Drop a like. Tank of Pharaohs, that was just two of the lights that go into this tank. We actually have another one that's brand new in the box still. There's gonna be three of them. There'll be one right here, one right there, and one right there. It's gonna be lit up. This is your calcium and alkalinity, yeah. along with 33 other trace elements. Uh, but so as your corals are growing, coralline algae, snails, um, they're pulling calcium and alkalinity and all these different trace elements out of the water. So we'll have to replenish it by manually dosing. Mm -hmm. So we're really talking reef here, huh? Oh yeah. We're gonna have corals. We're gonna have some real Colorful nice corals fish. in there. I'm so excited, man. All right, this last bag of sand is indeed going in right now. All right, let's see it. He hand places this. Well, you know what? I should turn the flow off.
just that one thing of sand, he, I mean, look, it looks like that all the way around, but then boom. Yeah, breaks it up, adds a lot of texture. Love that. So, Paul, would you want to go to uh, aquarium shop with me at some point and pick out some fish? Yes. And I can take them home and uh, quarantine them? Yes. 100%. Okay. You're a busy man. And we're both busy guys. Yeah. So you let me know a day that works for you. I have a very flexible schedule. Okay. And we'll make it happen. All right, perfect. All right. Because I know you got a bunch of clients to be doing things for. I'm ready for that, man. I'd be so down for that. Should I film a video on that? On what? Picking out Picking the fish? Out, yeah, I definitely should. 100%. Because yeah, sure. we can go over all the different options, too, and give people a really good idea of what they can expect from different fish and habitats that they would like in the tank. Oh, this is going to be really cool. All right, so that'll, that'll definitely be another video on the channel as well. Make sure you are subscribed down below. It's completely free. Click the bell and select all so that you're notified every time I upload anything. That was epic, and uh, I want to see what it looks like in a couple hours from now, so we'll pick up the camera then. It has been a couple hours, and I always like to give you guys a final look of at least what it's looking like right now. Let me go to the other side. Just, wow. Logan! You good, bro? <laughs> look at this. Beautiful, beautiful tank. Wave makers are on. All we gotta do is plumbing and lights. And that's a big video as well, so part three is coming. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. See y'all in the next one. Peace out. Oh, new PC drop? Like, it's fire. PokeFairBrand.com. Go check that out. Top link in the description. Peace out.